this is code.org, let's see what we're doing. Keep in mind, don't hit run unless you want to submit your answer, because once you hit run, you submit your answer, and you can't change it, and it goes to your teacher, and if I'm your teacher, I can see it. All right, velocity and the counter pattern. Using the counter pattern with sprites X and Y properties, make a sprite move smoothly, uh, makes the sprite move smoothly across the screen. In this program, the counter pattern is being used with the velocity X property instead, right? So we've learned that this velocity property, what it really is, is it is doing sprite dot X equals sprite dot X plus one or plus two. So what will happen is each time the draw loop runs, it would add one to the X value of our sprite and wipe the screen as long as we have background and make that it appear to move just like the counter pattern does. Except we can set velocity up here if we would like, as long as it has a constant speed, right? If we want to set the speed once, we can put it way up here because that will stay the same and it will automatically move it as the as the draw loop runs as the frame updates. All right, what do you think will happen when this code runs Y? Once you're ready, you can run the code to find out. Hmm. Oh, well, notice that I was just saying you could set the velocity at the top as long as the speed doesn't change because it's like setting cruise control. If you tell the computer the sprite's X velocity is five, every time the draw group runs, it will move it over five pixels on the X property. However, keep in mind the draw loop runs 30 times a second. And here, what's sprite one? Oh, it's this. Sprite one, we're using the counter pattern with X velocity, right? So each time this runs, we're saying the sprite's X velocity is equal to whatever the sprite's old X velocity is. So for this one, I think it's zero. There's no property up here. So I would assume it's zero the first time the draw loop runs. And now it's 0.1 is it. So now that's the new value for the X velocity. We wipe out the background with white and we draw the sprite on top. And this goes so fast, we never see a blank screen. We hit the bottom of the draw loop, zoop, goes back up here. Oh, what? Oh, X velocity now has a new value. Okay, what is that value? It's the old X velocity. We just said that was 0.1 plus 0 0.1. Interesting. So now it's 0 0.2. So the new value is 0 0.2. We wipe the screen up, covering up all the old stuff. So there's no like smear. And then we draw the sprite, except this time it would be over 0 0.2 more. We loop back. What happens? Oh, a new X velocity. What is it? It's equal to the old value plus 0 0.1. So 0 0.3 is the new one. Wipes the screen, draws it, and keeps going. So what's happening to our velocity? Well, we're using a counter pattern with it. So the velocity is increasing. Now I'm going to write my thoughts on this. Keep in mind, you found it, your teacher will, and if I'm your teacher, I will. It's also very, very easy to do auto plagiarism checks. So make sure I want to think about this with you, but make sure you are writing your own words and your own thoughts. Anything else is absolutely cheating. Okay. So my answer, not yours, is the X velocity, and this is kind of rough, honestly, I could fix some grammar. The X velocity is used with the counter pattern. Each time the draw loop runs, 0.1 is added. This would cause the speed of the sprite to movement to constantly increase. The sprite would have to move faster and faster. Let's check it out. Zoop. And so you can barely see it, but it is there. Well, they, nope, they won't let us edit it. So super slow, boom. Cool. Onward.